One day, the son of your daughter, the lovely maiden Danae, will come to kill you and overthrow your kingdom. This cannot be. I must send Danae and her son, the heroic Perseus, away at once. I fear I will lose my treasured kingdom forever, and so I will put the two of them into a wooden chest and send them to a faraway land, never to be seen again. I deeply regret having to do this, but I must send you and your beloved son to a faraway land in order to protect the fate of myself and this kingdom. But why? Argos is my home and I do not want to leave it. I am afraid you must. The prophecy has warned me that your son, Perseus, will one day kill me and take over my kingdom. I hope I will see you again some day and I wish all the best to you. Thank you for freeing me and my mother. To whom do I owe my gratitude? That would be to me, King Polydectus of Seraphos. What are your names? I am Perseus, and this is my mother, the maiden Danae. We were sent here by her father, King Acrisius of Argos, in an attempt to avoid the prophecy of his inevitable doom. Well, my guests, come inside and let me call a huge feast in your honor. You can stay with me and the people of Seraphos for as long as you like. Thank you so much for everything. How can we repay you for your kindness? The greatest repayment would be to take the hand of your mother, the beautiful maiden Danae, in marriage, so we can live happily as the king and queen of Seraphos. I am deeply sorry, but I cannot marry you. I am not strong enough to become the ruler of a kingdom as great as Seraphos, and I cannot marry you while I still have to take care of Perseus and protect him from harm. Just as I protect him, he protects me, and I cannot abandon him for a husband while he still needs my care and reassurance. I am sorry. Well, I will just have to get rid of her beloved Perseus. I will send him far away and tell him to capture and return to me that of the terrible Gorgon Medusa. He will be turned to stone by her horrifying gaze, and I will be free to marry Danae without his interference. Perseus, heroic son of the maiden Danae, I am afraid I must send you off on a quest. You are the bravest man in all the land, and the only one fit to capture the head of the dreaded Medusa. You must obtain her head and return it to me within two weeks' time. It is your duty to the kingdom of Seraphos. Of course, I will be off at once. I wish my mother well. Please take nothing but the best care of her. By all means. Good luck. Athena, I cannot thank you enough. I will treasure these gifts from you and prepare a sacrifice in your honor as soon as I return home. You are welcome. And one last thing. The nymphs of the north will gift you due with the captain darkness. It will make you invisible to the other two Gorgons, Medusa's sisters, so you may make an easy escape. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you yet again. I must be on my way now. I have come to defeat you, Medusa, the monstrous beast, in order to protect the kingdom of King Polydectes. You cannot kill me. My scales are impenetrable by any man-made weapon. But I have been given the divine sickle of Zeus by the god Hermes. Nothing can stop me. Goodbye, Medusa. At last you have met your end. No! no. How, How dare, dare you, you kill, kill our, our sister, sister Medusa. Medusa? You, you will, will one day pay for what you have done. done.
King Polydectes, I have captured the head of Medusa. What? This cannot be true. However, while you are gone without her son to protect her, Danae has agreed to accept my offer of marriage. You are too late. No, how could you? If you are my friend, shield your eyes right now. If you are my foe, leave them open. I am no friend of yours. You say you are no friend of mine, and you have betrayed my trust by marrying my mother against her will. I will use this head of Medusa to turn you to stone. No! Goodbye, Polydectes. Now your kingdom is safe from your evil ways, and my mother has been freed from her promise of marriage. May everyone live in peace from here on forward.